it is not something we are born with it is something that we can create more of hi i'm teja pradeshni founder for akashic center for healing and today we're talking about confidence why is it so important to be confident because we can do better networking with people we can have instant connections with people we can improve our relationships and overall boost our positive image when we come across as confident people are naturally drawn to you so how can you be more confident well let me tell you something before we start off on how you can become more confident confidence is nothing but the belief you have in your own self the trust that you can create whatever reality that you want with whatever you have it is the belief that no matter how bad life gets or whatever it throws at you you are capable of handling it and growing along with it learning from it and becoming this beautiful confident person that you know that you already are the first thing you need to know about boosting your confidence is body language 80% of our communication is non verbal so when you look at a person the first few details that you get while looking at someone is the non verbal cues when we stand a certain way when we look a certain way when we eat a certain way when we even smile a certain way we are sending out signals and information about how we are feeling about our own selves our moods the surroundings how we are reacting to the surroundings all of that so non verbal communication is very very important if you can master body language and um master the whole confidence aspect of it then you can become more confident or you can appear to be more confident and once you get the hang of it your confidence levels will automatically boost and you will naturally be this confident being that you know you truly are the second thing is to be positive positivity plays such a big role in our lives because the more positive we think about ourselves the more positive we portray ourselves if you're going to keep criticizing and saying all these nasty things about yourself in your own mind saying oh i'm not good enough i don't have skill set for this or i'm not pretty enough whatever it is all this critical thinking those judgments that we have about ourselves can pull the confidence levels really really low so next time you find yourself having a negative thought change that into a positive one and see how that works out for you because once you have a positive mindset your confidence levels will also begin to boost and you know voila you're this confident person suddenly the third thing you have to keep in mind is personal growth when you want to grow in life you have to understand that failures are inevitable there will be times when you will fail at some something or the other i mean that's common right i'm sure all of us would have failed at some point in our life but the trick is to pick ourselves back up and keep going no matter what learning from the mistakes and that in turn will boost your confidence levels it's not about all the achievements that you have had in the past that is important but it is not the only thing when you fail at something most of us go into this negative mindset of saying that it's impossible i can't do this i never get to uh, it never seems to uh, get go properly you know what i mean it, i'm fumbling for words right now but the matter is that if you fail and if you can pick yourself back up and say no matter what happened with me i'm going to learn from this experience and move on to create a better version of myself that is when your confidence is boosted you can also learn from your earlier achievements and say that see when i've achieved so much back then what is stopping me from achieving anything now right so that also is like a reminder to boost your levels of confidence and uh, when you do this you will understand that body language um being positive and growing from your failures all a part of who you are and how confident you become when you learn from your life experiences so how do you appear confident at work first learn to stand straight body posture body language remember that 
It is so important at work as well. When you stand straight, square your shoulders, puff your chest out, you come across as being more confident. When you make eye contact, when you shake a person's hand firmly, it also shows that you're very confident. Inside, you might be like on a roller coaster of emotions, but on the outside, the way you portray yourself, the way your body stands, the, the posture it adapts, that is what shows how confident you are about any given situation. So changing your physiology means changing the way you present your body to people is an important aspect of gaining confidence at work. The next thing is to appreciate your past achievements. I mean, bragging about it is one thing, but if you matter-of-factly just put it out there when you're in a conversation with say the CEO or some uh, super boss of the company and you're like, so I did achieve this in the past and I did that in the past, you're putting it out there matter-of-factly and why not be proud of your achievements, right? Because you have done something good, you had a brilliant idea that the company really appreciated you for, then you should tell people about it because it's, it's the truth, it's a fact. But don't do it in a bragging sort of a way, just put it in there like matter-of-factly. This will also improve your confidence because you're learning to appreciate yourself in the process. The third thing you can do when it comes to work is to have visualizations of the goals that you want to come into fruition. So if you are, set, if you set your mind on like on one goal, try to visualize the various outcomes of this goal and what you need to contribute to make sure that this goal is successful. So when you visualize, when you have a vision board set up or when you even constantly visualize this happening or like it's already happened, remember the law of attraction when you believe it's already done, it's already done. So when you're coming from that place of gratitude, like it's already done, then your visualization goals will just take off and you will do really, really well. This again will boost your self-confidence. Now, how do you become confident with your body? First of all, you need to appreciate your body. Your body does so much for you. It does the breathing, it does the exhalations, it does the digestion, it does a lot of things for you, right? So why do we take it for granted? Why not appreciate it? Show it a bit of love, show it a bit of care. Appreciating your body is one of the steps that will lead to body confidence. The second thing that you can do is to improve self-talk. The way you talk to yourself is very important. If you're gonna be nasty about yourself, then forget about your body responding in a positive way. But if you're gonna love yourself, if you're gonna have this beautiful romantic conversations with yourself, that is when you boost the confidence of your body and you become more confident with your body. So it's like a symbiotic process, right? You believe in yourself, you trust yourself, then you fall in love with yourself, you build and you build and you build. So you create this confident, beautiful self and then that is what everyone else around you will also begin to see. And of course, body language is so important. So it's all about the body, guys. The more you learn about how you can use body language to your advantage, you are going to boost not just your confidence at work, but also your self-image gets boosted, like you become more confident with your body. And that's absolutely wonderful, isn't it? And in relationships, it's almost the same thing. You fall in love with yourself first. The more you love yourself, the more you understand what you want, what you need, and what excites you and things of that sort, that is what you will bring into this relationship. And then the relationship starts to bloom and blossom and become even more beautiful. So confidence in a relationship comes from actually first falling in love with yourself, knowing exactly what you want for your own self, which will benefit then both you and your partner. And this is how you can build confidence in your relationships. The second thing about being in a relationship and being confident about it is to live in the present. We often get so caught up with what happened in the past. We keep revisiting the past so much. Sometimes we get stuck in the future, like where is all of this going? What am I going to do in the future? What's, what's this? What's that? Calm down. You don't need to go anywhere past or future. Just live in the present. Be grateful for every little moment that you have right now and see how everything starts to become even more expansive and, and more 
loving and more beautiful. I mean, it is so amazing to live in the present moment with nothing but gratitude. Your love will blossom, your confidence will grow, and everything seems very seamless and easy flowing. You know, everything flows so easily and. it's just amazing to be like that so these are the things you can do to boost confidence in your life but don't forget that whatever excites you can also boost your confidence levels imagine something that you have done some achievement of yours that created this excitement and gave you that confidence that yes i did something i achieved something keep reminding yourself about these achievements every time you feel nervous and you think that your confidence is low and remember that confidence is something that is very you know it's always in a state of flux you don't always have to be confident there are times when you know you do doubt yourself and then you have one of those low bad days but it's all right all you need to do is pick yourself up tell yourself you're capable and then move forward that is how confidence works it's not about always having a good day it's about how you deal with the bad days and that will show how much confidence you have not just about you and your body but in life in general i hope this has helped and until i see you again in my next video i love you guys very much and have a beautiful weekend bye bye